Hello, my name is Avatar. I'm from Digital Media Systems. I want to show you how quick and easy it is to create a presentation using Dice Composer for your digital signage network. Digital signage uh, by Dice is in various component forms. Dice Composer is the composing module. Dice Replay is what sits on your player and will distribute the content out to your screen. OK, let's get started. We fire Dice Composer up. I've got it minimized here on my taskbar, so I will load that. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to create something similar to what I've got here on the screen. Just to show you what it does, if I click on Play Movie, and you can see we have on the right hand side some scrolling text, scrolls from the bottom to the top, and on the bottom we have a ticker that scrolls from the right to the left. We've got a clock in the top right hand corner and a video running in the uh, main box in the middle. Okay, we'll start a new movie. File, new movie. Do you want to save? No. I'll just tell you a bit about the tabs. File browser. This allows you to go through your hard drives, floppy drives, etc, etc, and find content. If you then want to use some of that content, you can simply drag and drop onto your desktop and it will pull the item in for you. I'm just going to delete that. The Objects tab, self-explanatory, if you want a video, you click on the Video tab, you draw a box where you want the, bo uh, the video to appear, sorry, and you click on Add. I'm just going to cancel that for now. If you want text, same thing. If you want a ticker, the same thing. Clock, music, anything that you want, exactly the same method. Library is where all your preset content is. So we can click on there and again view data and drag and drop onto his desktop. And again I'm going to remove that. So we'll click on there and click on delete. Okay, this represents your screen that you're going to be displaying your content on. At the moment it's shown as a checkerboard which means it's transparent. I'm going to right click on there and click add background. It's come up as black but we can simply change colours. I think I will have a white background for this demonstration. If we want to have a rectangle, for example, we can draw a rectangle. We can have it with an outline or just purely an outline. We can do various effects on there as well and have different thicknesses of lines. And we can also change his mind and decide that we want a circle um, or a triangle and so on. But we'll keep it as a rectangle. Okay. I'm going to colour that in red. We then want that to have a gradient, so we click on Settings, click on Gradient. We want to use a gradient. I want it from yellow to red, and I would like it that way, or that way, or at an angle. You can have the gradient pretty much how you want it. Minimise that. I'm going to right click on that and use Object as Background, and it's filled the screen as you can see. OK, let's go ahead and add a video. We click on the video, draw a box where we want the video to appear, and we click on Add. We can add a video file, we can take a stream off the web or through um, a, a LAN, or we can use a TV source, um, webcam and that kind of thing. I'm going to click on Video File. We can select the video file from here. So if I click on Video, clock on it, and click Open. The item shows that it will always be displayed, and it's 14 minutes and tw sorry, 14 seconds and 24, 14.24 seconds long. Sorry about that. We click on OK, and it starts loading the video. Up. Okay, and the video has appeared in the box that we wanted. We can resize from here; it's dead easy to do, as you can see. Okay. And let's say we want to have a clock up here. Right click on the desktop. We delete that text. We want to pass time and date. And if we say date and time, click on OK. I want it to appear in whichever colour. So we'll go for red. You can easily resize the size of the text from here, as you can see. OK, I'll just keep that centralized. Next thing, we want to have some scrolling text. That is called a ticker. Click on the ticker, 
tell it where we want the text to appear and we can either type the text in manually as you can see here and the text is reflected down here granted it just needs to, uh, to catch up with us we can alter the speed of the text simply by dragging the slider and we can tell it we want the text to go to the left, we want it to go to the right, we want it to go up or down. Um, moving text towards the right is a great idea for the Urdu font or for Hebrew fonts. So if we want the text to move up I will click on multiline and the text changes up. However we've manually typed that text in there. If we want that text to be updated from a text file it's no problem. We edit the text I'll just remove that from there because I had a spelling mistake and we click on data. Connect data. This is quite powerful and it's available everywhere where there is text and it allows you to pull your text from a notepad.txt file or a CSV file. So we click on there and what it does is it sucks in as you can see here the data from that file and like I say it's just a pure text file we click on OK and click on OK again and you can see the text is reflected there. Just to show you what it does, click play. There we go. OK, back to the composer. Again we want another ticker and we want the ticker to appear here. We'll type our text in. We love dice, why not? Okay, and we're happy with the speed. Uh, I'd like the text to appear in yellow because it's towards the bottom. And again, we can alter the size of the text if we so wish. And there you go, we've got a very simple display. Okay, right, carrying on from there. Normally, we have videos with square corners. We may want a video to appear with nice rectangular corner, uh, sorry, curved corners. That's not a problem. We can adjust the roundiness and we can click OK. We then have this great facility. We click on there and click on the video, right click, tell it to merge the objects and there you go. The video will now play with curved corners. If we want to put a box behind this text because we can't see it, no problem, right click on a box, on the rectangle, draw a rectangle, tell it we want it to be in whatever colour with an outline, as you can see, click OK, I'll have it as white. Everything is layered, so we need to send this to the back so it will be behind the text. Right click and we use the order function we say to back and there you go and again we can resize this so it's nice and easy the text will scroll in the bounding box that we can see there so we may as well stretch this down to the bottom there okay and we'll do the same for this one here so we'll just draw a box and we'll appear there we're quite happy with it as it is We'll do it in white, right click, order to back, and we'll just change that text color. Let's do a preview. And there you go. Very simple digital signage display. Very easy to use. Just go back to composer. Okay. I hope that was okay for you. It was a nice simple introduction to the Dice Composer module and we'll be expanding further uh, in another video soon. Thanks.